Number 80. What is the concentration of sodium chloride, which is NaCl, in a solution if titration of 15 mils of the solution with 0.2503 molarity silver nitrate, which is AgNO3, requires 20.22 mils of the silver nitrate solution to reach the endpoint. And then they give us this little formula here. So we're dealing with titrations. However, we're dealing with not really acids and bases. We're dealing with two salts. So in this case, I'm going to write out the equation here. So I have silver nitrate, which is AgNO3. And in this case, it doesn't really matter the states, so I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> so when you're doing the math, it really doesn't, you know, matter what states, you know, you don't have to write it down for simplicity purposes. So this will yield a silver chloride, AgCl, and then plus NaNO3. Now, in this case, I do not see any coefficients. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check whether this equation is balanced or not. And I'm looking at it, and I see that it's balanced, so we're good to go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to list out everything that they told me and what we're trying to solve for. So let's start over here. They told us that we had a molarity of the silver nitrate, which is this one, right? So maybe I'll just say... 0.2503 molarity, and it required 20.22 mils of the same solution. So I have 20.22 mils of this. And they told us that we need to find the concentration of the sodium chloride, which is NaCl, and they said that we needed 15 mils of the solution. So I have 15 mils, and maybe I'll put this in a different color. We have 15 mils of the solution, aka the sodium chloride, and we're looking for um, the concentration. And remember, concentration is the same thing as molarity. So we're just looking for the molarity, question mark. Okay. Now, it seems like I need to answer questions about this compound, NaCl, but they gave me way more information about the other compound. If they give you information on one compound that's more than the one you're trying to solve for, you know you have to use stoichiometry meaning I have to somehow go from this compound to this compound. And that's using the balanced equation. And you can only use the balanced equation from going from one compound to the other by using the unit of moles. So somehow, I have to get this into moles. That's the first step I think of. But looky here, guys. I have a molarity. I have a volume. So I'm thinking, hmm, what's the molarity formula? Oh, well, the molarity formula is molarity equals moles over liters. And if I just, you know, tr you know uh, change this into what moles is, this is just cross multiplication. So moles would really be molarity times liters. So I can just put that here. Okay. So I want to solve for moles, right? That's my first step. I have my molarity. They told me that it was 0 0.2503, but if I'm using this formula, it has to be in liters. They gave me 20.22 mils, so I have to go to liters first. Hmm, how do I do that? We know how to do that, right? From mils to liters, remember, you're always going to just divide by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal and move it to the left three times. So in this case, it would be 0 0.02022. I just want to double check because you can never be too certain that my zeros are in the right spot. But there we go. So now that's this number that I'm going to put down here. And from there, I can multiply the two numbers together to get my moles. So the moles equals 0 0.2503 times 0 0.02022. Okay, let's see how many moles that is. 0 0.2503. Um, just double, yep, that's good. In this case, since this is not the answer, um, I won't really cut it off with sig figs. I'm just going to say that this is the number of moles was, we'll say, 5.061.
times 10 to the negative 3, and that's moles of AgNO3. Okay. So now, how do I go from moles of one compound to moles of this, right? I want to go from this information all the way over here. Ah, that's using the balanced equation. We've done this time and time again, right? We're just going to use a ratio. So let's start it out. 5.061 times 10 to the negative 3, and that's moles of AgNO3. Use your ratio. Times by the ratio. Put the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So in this case, I'm going to put it on the bottom. And put the unit that I want on the top. Since I'm converting from one compound to another, I have to go from mole to mole. So this would be mole of NaCl. And any time that you have a mole to mole ratio of different compounds, you're just using the balanced equation, aka the coefficients. But for both of these, I don't see any numbers in front of AgNO3 and NaCl. This means that I have one of each. So one mole of NaCl equals one mole of AgNO3. So technically, this would be the same number. This is a very important step, though, because sometimes the number will change depending on the ratio. And now I have the moles of this, right? So maybe what I'll do is I'll just say 5.061 times 10 to the negative 3 moles, right? So now I have moles of NaCl, I have mils. I need to find the molarity. That's the same formula as before, right? Molarity equals moles divided by liters. So let's just do it quick. The thing is, I need liters. This is in mils. So same thing as before, just divide by 1,000, right? Divide by 1,000. And this would be 0 0.01500 liters, right? One, two, three. Yep. So now, molarity would equal the moles, 5.061 times 10 to the negative 3, divided by 0 0.01500. And then just solve. 5.061 times 10 to the negative 3, divided by 0 0.015. And there's my answer. I'm looking back to seeing how many sig figs I need to use. They all have four, so I'm going to keep it as four sig figs. And let me just see. If I didn't round that number, would I get the same answer? Probably. Yeah. So we get, and I guess I'll scooch this over here. So this is equal to 0 0.3374 molarity. 74 molarity of NaCl. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. So just molarity formula twice, and then just need to convert from one compound to the other one. Use the balance equation. Use the ratio. Yeah? Okie dokie. Thank you so much for, you know, listening to the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? Love talking to you guys, and I hope you do well on your tests and quizzes. Um, I'll see you in future lessons, all right? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.